Engineers Do It. Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It. And in this video, we will try and understand what is business process re-engineering. So the, by the word business process re-engineering, what comes in our mind is we are re-engineering a process. So if we go in depth to this, let's analyze a company. I'll take an example, a very simple example that a layman can understand. And then I will explain you um, the technical aspect of it. So let's say we have a restaurant and that restaurant was uh, it started from the scratch. Maybe it, it was a very small restaurant where uh, there may be around uh, uh, a 15 seater uh, restaurant where at, at a time uh, 15 people can be served. And uh, they used to take the raw materials from a wholesale shop, which was maybe uh, five or ten, 10 kilometers away and they used to get it via a minivan and uh, the restaurant has maybe uh, with time the restaurant has uh, uh, got big they, they moved uh, uh, they've you know maybe they have uh, expanded some three to four times so at that particular point of time the restaurant let's say the restaurant is not doing very good maybe uh, they don't really know what exactly has gone wrong but uh, they are not able to uh, get as much income as they used to do before uh, when they were running small. So, uh, let's say that uh, they used to carry the raw materials uh, from the wholesale to the uh, uh, restaurant uh, via a minivan. And they used to do it from the very beginning because they didn't they didn't really require so much of uh, raw materials to be carried now later when the restaurant got bigger they were actually supposed to make the uh, they were actually supposed to uh, implement a better way maybe a bigger uh, carrier or may maybe a bigger truck in order to carry the raw materials so here what happens is they are making uh, three four trips and there is a delay in uh, bringing the raw materials and the fuel expense and the uh, the person who's driving his salaries and everything so uh, maybe let's say in this situation that they haven't thought about all this and they were just going with the old process now business process reengineering comes to, into picture at this case so a person a business process reengineering expert he will go through each and every step right from uh, the very beginning uh, uh, he will go through all the processes in the particular organization let's say in this case organization is a restaurant so he will come to this point and he will analyze that uh, the uh, the cycle time is more in this case where they are carrying this three or four times and they have to uh, uh, pay for the fuel they have to pay for the driver and everything so what they are doing is they are replacing it with a uh, a bigger truck where with one shot a day they can carry all the raw materials that they can carry uh, they need to carry and they, they don't need to uh, do multiple trips uh, and the driver salary also is saved in that case so this is a kind of uh, this is a very layman explanation when we explain this in case of a larger organization we'll have to probably take a, a, a better example there but this will definitely help you to uh, analyze what uh, analyze and understand what exactly uh, is business process engineering so to make it short uh, what uh, we have done here is we have analyzed and we have understood that so and so is a thing that we have to do and we are just implementing that we are uh, bringing a bigger truck and we are doing it so let's say here it is a high risk and high impact um, high risk and high impact technique so how it is high risk in this case we'll have to probably sell all the minivans and we'll have to go for bigger trucks so in fact we are taking a bigger step we are not uh, uh, doing a small step like a pdca cycle where we can make the change or if, if we don't like the change we can come back no it's not like that once we sell the vehicle it's not very easy to again uh, acquire the same vehicle so unless and until we are not really sure about this we are not supposed to do it so we'll have to do a proper study that's why we say identify the process which is really need to be re-engineered and then review update analyze as it is and then design to be so we are designing in this case design is like we are uh, uh, 
deciding that what we need is a bigger carrier uh, and a, a heavy uh, heavy uh, heavy vehicle driver instead of the other drivers so it is also difficult to get support from the employees because when we do this probably the mini uh, minivan drivers would be losing their job so when we do this kind of a uh, uh, re-engineering to certain processes employees would not be really very interested but so probably we what we actually need is we need uh, in this particular step find um, yeah put together the team of uh, experts in this step we probably uh, we have a couple of things that we have to do like we have to uh, bring in the experts who's actually re-engineering it and from the operations we need to have someone and from the management we need to have someone so when we have these people's support we'll be able to do a proper analysis and we'll be able to design and we'll be able to implement it so there's one more thing before we implement what we do is we will analyze the we will define the kpi um, and then we'll compare the kpi for example in this case it is the cycle time that is of concern so we will first analyze what is the cycle time i'm not uh, cycle time is one of the example so there might be multiple things that is getting affected but in this case we'll take just take cycle time as a kpi so for example um, uh, cycle time should be maybe uh, four hours four hours per day or maybe two hours per day in order to get the raw materials from the wholesale to the restaurant but when we have uh, bought a bigger truck what we do is uh, we just take one shot one um, we just carry the items at one shot and we'll be carrying it in maybe half an hour so we are saving there one board one by fourth of time and we are also saving the fuel and everything so you probably we can define the fuel expenses here and then we can compare later after implementing that how much is the fuel expense and how much is the tire cycle time and etc so to make it in a very simple uh, format we are actually analyzing the whole process identifying which process is having an issue and then we are re-engineering it one more thing we'll have to see over here we will be using this uh, particular uh, technique only when um, there is a problem with the current process or uh, there is a loss the, the business is already running in loss probably only then the management would be ready to do this kind of a uh, re-engineering to the process otherwise if the uh, process is going proper if they are in uh, good profits they would not be really, the management would not be really interested to do a re-engineering to the process it would probably re-engineering incurs cost incurs uh, we'll have to probably spend a lot of money for re-engineering so probably people would not be interested to re-engineer unless and until the business is already in loss so these are the key things which you'll have to remember which is put in a very simple format i hope you understood it and let's see you in the next video thank you and stay tuned